I'm going to revisit the power supply again. I already got it out and I'm going to do something that I should have done in the first place and that is check these onboard fuses right here. There's three of them, five amps each, one, two, and three. And um, I should have done this before in the fr like I said, I should have done this before but I was too lazy because I didn't want to bother taking out all 14 screws and the and the ground wire nut uh, to remove it from the steel baseboard here. But something very interesting I found on the bottom is that how the the traces some of these traces have gotten discolored from heat. You can see how this pad right here is a darker color than that one and there's some heat damage on this trace here and you can see how this is a little darker than the rest of the trace and even got some darkening here and also on the steel back plane You can see how the how the heat has caused some discoloration or some kind of smoky deposit onto the steel base. And those, you know, clearly correspond to very specific traces on the on the bottom of the well not only traces but also um, circuit elements too, like this thing right here. This transistor mounted on a black heat sink and that actually corresponds to if you overlay it, looks like it goes right there. And then this is of course for the, the MOSFET driver for this transformer. And there's this MOSFET driver for the other transformer. And these look like traces coming off the capacitors. These two these two large input capacitors. Anyway, I'm going to test these fuses now and see how they work. If I could test these fuses on the top, I would, but um, that little fuse right there, you can see how I'd have to shove some tiny little pin underneath it inside the, uh, or on the, on one end of these ceramic insulators here but it's just easier to take it off and test it on the bottom of it. So here's one fuse. And that's certainly good. The other two fuses right in here. Let me test those. That one's good, and that one's good too. Ain't nothing wrong with this power supply. At least nothing that I can detect as yet. And one other interesting thing here, you can see this, this is on, this power supply is Revision K. So the, uh, the MarTech Power Incorporated has gone through 11 revisions to make this thing work. So it, it better be good, it better work. And there's one other thing here to take note. There's uh, some kind of white residue left on the board right here. Just a 0 0.01 microfarad cap on the other side there. So it's probably nothing to worry about, but something to take note 